Hey everybody, welcome into Old Mountain Bricks. We are on the road again today and we're going to our first bricks and minifigs here in South Carolina. Um, so we're just going to go and we're going to see if they'll let us film and kind of see what's going on. I'll try and give you a few highlights and then we'll see what we pick up today. Let's go ahead and head in. Alright, here we go. Alright, first thing when you come and say they've got an upscale custom minifigure named Fred sitting here and over here they've got a really cool Hoth mock by sc bricks not familiar with them but hopefully it'd be cool to see what they've got going on here just a lot of detail a custom mock i'm going to kind of go over top so we can see a little better um, but look at all the minifigures they've got lights included it's hard to kind of see on the camera here looks like but just a really cool mock kind of with the interior as well looks like like the back to chamber and a few other fun details like a snow speeder but this just looks really cool so shout out to sc bricks i'm going to be sure to check out their content sometime after this to see what else they're up to but this is just a really cool looking map the amount of detail in this thing is just unreal this is a fun reason why i like to go to these kind of stores or plan to start going to more it's just a fun to see these kind of things or like lego conventions because this is just a great looking mock it's not huge and it still gets the point across so great job for putting this together but let's see what else is going on in the store here let's see they've got the wall over here and then a ton of mini figures but these are some of the used sets of course that you can buy that are pre-built which normally means there's a decent discount some are a little higher than others of course um but looks like they've got like the roman coliseum up there some harry potter um some other fun looking sets there architecture let's see um yeah, but just really cool sets overall. Some custom things back there. Uh, uh, custom pieces, like some boat pieces, some 9-volt track. That's always really handy. Look at that, some still in the box. Some other kind of unique pieces that you can pick up. That's really cool. For those who don't know, model trains normally run on like a 9-volt track. So ever since LEGO went away with that, you know, I've been a little disappointed. But it still gets the fun across. But let's check out some of these Miller figures. Oh, they've got the Sesame Street. Mmm, might be willing to pick that up. We'll have to see. But look, they've got a ton of minifigures. Some classic ones there. Had some Simpsons, some stuff from the Lego movie, both to like CMFs of it here. Looks like a classic Batmobile, uh, so a few Muppets, and some more Disney looking ones down here. Look at all the Hades. Oh, there's a Steamboat Mickey. Looks like he's missing the uh, wheel though. But um, some other like Legends of Chima looks like, and just some other classic ones there. Uh, let's see a lot of minifigures here. Jeez. I like how they have them all sorted by like the CMF number So it just makes it easy to find what you're looking for rather than intermingling things everywhere But just a lot of cool looking minifigures again. It's my first time here So I've never really seen this. I've seen some videos online, of course, but this is really cool. Oh cool Look at that. I love the the robot and Oh, that's cool. So a bunch of animals. Oh, the goat. The legendary goat. <laughs> 80 bucks. Yeah, not too bad. He's got the printing, of course. So that is the original. Um, it's all kinds of other animals and dinosaurs and some wizards. Um, got some custom guns here, of course, you can buy from like a third party. Glad they support things like this. I'd love to do like a World War II mock one day. I think that'd be really cool. Looks like we've got some fun Bionicle back here in the bookshop. Uh, a Millennium Falcon. Let's see what else is going on. No, oh, kind of the big Ant Man. Some Lego Star Wars, of course. Uh, oh, and the big BMW bike. Just huge displays. Oh, a Western set. That looks kind of cool. Um, some castle, a little ship looks like. Some more Harry Potter, R2 D2, the Beatable Yoda, uh, Metal Beard. Oh, that's kind of cool. Kind of an older set up there. Looks like a pirate type set. NASA, some more Bionicle, some other fun space sets down here that looks kind of cool it's huge uh, i think i think that's space might be star wars <laughs> forgive me um that looks like some power miners type stuff Ooh, lord of the rings always expensive but looks really cool some classic minifigures down here as far as like the more expensive ones those look really cool maybe not today but some of those really look cool yeah like max rebo i think his name is from star wars um, some more Star Wars, of course, up here, and some Lord of the Rings. Ooh, a good number of Lord of the Rings minifigures here. You don't see a lot of those, um, so when you see them, you got to appreciate them for sure. Let's see, and some Minecraft, of course, over there, and some other Lord of the Rings sets kind of intermingled throughout. 
Uh, let's see, some more Star Wars. Yeah, here's the Star Wars stuff up top here, like the Sith Troopers, Clone Builder Armies, Paradise. You always got to check that kind of stuff out. The Gamorrean Guards, definitely more detailed than the ones I have here. Yeah, here's some clones. There we go. Um, and then let's see, some more Batman CMF, some of the Marvel ones. We've got all of those. Ooh, look at that. It's got like the old Green Goblin. Might have to take a closer look at that. That's cool looking. Um, that was like the original one from like 2001. Um, but look, some more Marvel stuff. Good selection here. Oh, goodness. Yeah, they've got it really kind of figured out. Some more Harry Potter type stuff. They've got a ton <laughs> of Harry Potter. So if you need one of him, he is ready to go. An old school Hagrid's hut. That's kind of cool with the OG Dumbledore. Um, some DC, let's see, some other superhero stuff in the back here, and just an old X-Wing. Let's see, oh, we've got like the buildable thing from a uh, Lego movie, like the construction, that's kind of fun. There's the bookshop and the Bionicle again, there we go. Um, and look at this beauty, whoo, Cloud City, $4,500 reason this is so expensive because of the exclusive Boba Fett that is inside. Um, over here we've got kind of some other brand new sets or I guess in box sets you would say. Oh look at that. It's got like the Doctor Strange set with like the ancient one in it. That's kind of cool. Might have to take a closer look at that as well. Let's see some other fun looking sets. Some friends, some Star Wars, some other small Marvel sets. Some of the new sets like the Dune Ornithopter looks like here. You know, some other basic Lego City. Um, always got to check it out. You never know what might be kind of hidden between the ones here. Like that kind of three-in-one set looks fun. Or like a noodle shop. That looks kind of cool. Let's see. They've got some like other poly bags. Some other verified sets they do that might be open. But they've double-checked that it does have everything you need. Um, that's kind of cool. Like a Pirates of the Caribbean set. Ooh, there's a Palpatine's Arrest. That's kind of an expensive set. Um, that they might want to remake. But here is the Doctor Strange Sanctum Sanctorum, the original kind of playset, I guess you would say, that comes with these really cool exclusive print pieces on her fans and on Doctor Strange's like magic. Um, it's really cool. It's the only set that the ancient one has been in. So I'm thinking about picking it up just for that. I don't know. Let me think about it. Let me think. So yeah, let's take one more look at the wall here, see what else we've kind of got going on. Got an at, -AT up there, again, R2-D2, some other kind of fun custom guns you can pick out. They've got, of course, the collectible minifigure series, and just some other fun parts here, and some print pieces and such. And But I think I know what we want, so let's check out and get out of here. Okay, we just picked up some fun minifigures, some exclusive ones there. So I'm excited to show you what we got back at home here, but big shout out to Bricks and Minifigs in Greenville, South Carolina. They were very gracious in letting us film and look through stuff for a while. So let's head on home and we'll take a look what we picked up. All right, everybody, we are back here in the Lego room from our first trip to a Bricks and Minifigs. This one was in Greenville after we went to the Lego store the other day. The next day we went out on our little trip there and said, you know what, since I'm in the area, let's see if I can find a Bricks and Minifigs. So I went to one there in Greenville, South Carolina, the better Greenville. Um, I talked to one of the owners there. She was very nice. Uh, asked if I could film, of course, and we did, as you saw, as you saw right before this. So a little bit of a smaller store, but they were very nice. They followed the channel and everything. So big shout out to... Bricks and Minifigs in Greenville, South Carolina for allowing us to do this. But here's what I was able to pick up. Not a whole lot, because um, they didn't have a lot of big sets or anything that I was looking for, but Bricks and Minifigs, the main score was in the Minifigs here. So, got this little cup here, and I'll show you what we were able to get. First thing they let us do is they let us pick up this free brick to celebrate a hundred stores of bricks and minifigs in the country since it was that kind of that weekend and I got one in North Carolina there. So I thought that was cool that they gave me this at this store. First one we were able to pick up was this from the Lego Movie Collectible miniseries. One, I believe, President Business. Always enjoyed that movie, of course. Anytime you find something like this, I always gotta pick it up. I've been wanting him for a while. 
It's gonna look somewhere in our, near our business buildings and such. Next one we picked up was the boat captain or ferry captain, I think he's called. But ever since, again, I saw this one come out a year or so ago, I really wanted to pick this one up as well. I just think he looks really cool. We like going on cruises and he's just a classic looking captain with some great print detailing like on his arms and everything. So definitely wanted to, to pick him up and glad to have him in the collection. This was from the Lego Batman movie is Barbara Gordon, kind of in her cop outfit, I guess you would say. And it comes with like the Batman button for the signal I thought was fun and just really wanted to pick her up and have that. No extra face or anything, but some great detailing and the handcuffs. And of course, if you're gonna get Barbara Gordon, you gotta get the OG Jim Gordon with this really cool printed piece with the Joker on it. Definitely got to pick up a Joker at some point from the Batman movie. But he's kind of got the sleeves rolled up and looks really cool and detailed and I'm excited to have him included. Next one is from another collectible minifigure series is I think he's just called the Old Timer because he's got the old newspaper and the print piece and this kind of detailed like bald cap or however you want to call it in the coffee cup and he just looks really fun. And I thought he just looked kind of funny. And I was like, we need more of this kind of stuff in our Lego city. A lot of fun <laughs> that we want. And he kind of matches Jim Gordon a little bit too. So maybe they get along. Next one from the collectible minifigure series. We've got an adventurer hiker. He's kind of got the printed compass on the clear tile, which is kind of unique. And this printed map that says Greeble Trail. I think it's kind of fun. Dual printed le or dual molded in legs with printed details and such. And this little backpack, and I think he's got a reversible face. I've used that before. A little happy face and a little concerned face, but I thought he was really fun, so I had to pick him up, of course. Picked up some Marvel to add in. This is an exclusive Gamora minifigure that I wanted to pick up, only ever been in one set, and I'm kind of working on having the complete Guardians of the Galaxy team without actually buying one of those sets. I think the last one I need is just a normal Drax. I've got some holiday versions, but excited to have a Gamora. And then we just picked up like a basic Bruce Banner here. He's kind of got the green eyes because uh, again, I think he should have been included like in the Avengers Tower, but we're excited to have him now. Um, not the one where he's like mid transformation that I might pick up at some point, but I think this one's good to have as just a good Bruce somewhere in the Avengers or superhero complex. And the other one we picked up here today is the Lego Mermaid Batman. Always got to pick him up. <laughs> um, just a, a fun looking minifigure I've been meaning to have and I just think the Lego Batman collectible minifigure series are just so fun and I missed out on them but a lot of them just look really great and I just excited to have him in the Lego City as well. Gave me one more just because I was there and it's my first time. They're very nice and you can, hey, since it's your first time and filming and you can make your own buildable minifigures, so shout out to them. I just kind of picked up a few pieces, so nothing exciting here, but got some printed legs, some sort of uh, adventure torso is kind of what I was doing. Print piece walkie talkie and just a little helmet and such there, but excited to have them walking around the city somewhere too. So here's everybody all together here. So definitely a great first haul as far as our minifigures. And we've got one more set to show you. Um, and we've got one set we picked up, we've just been meaning to get for a while, is the Vintage Taxi promo that came out when the boutique hotel came out a couple years ago now it's just one i really wanted to add to the city because i just love these promos and of course i'm into the modular buildings and such so excited to have something like that added in to the city here um, again shout out to bricks and minifigs for letting me film in there not sponsored or anything just a great time and i just want to share you with my first experience it was really great uh, I know these have been popping out all over the place, 100 stores apparently, so if there's one near you, I would definitely recommend checking it out because you never know what you're going to find there, like these fun minifigures and such. Um, but I think that's going to do it for today. Let me know below which of these minifigures is the favorite that we picked up today. I'd love to hear from you on which one you think is the coolest. But until next time, leave a like, comment, subscribe, helps us out of course, and thanks for coming by Old Mountain Bricks. Have a good one.